The city of Johannesburg released crime statistics today for the month of May. I'm actually quite pleased uh, with the progress we are making. Uh, the whole idea behind us uh, taking a decision to release the states is uh, to demonstrate to our residents out there who are victims of this crime that uh, we don't really take this serious matter for granted. Uh, it is our duty as government uh, to ensure that we don't hide anything uh, to our public. Let the public out there be aware of the type of challenges that we are facing in terms of crime. I think if you look at uh, some of the crimes that we are facing, uh, you know, someone might actually think uh, drunken driving is not a serious crime. Unfortunately, drunken driving leads uh, to fatalities on, on our roads. That's why it's important that we deal with it and we deal with it effectively. They also revealed and explained successes of their newly launched Integrated Intelligence Operations Center Reaction Unit. So I saw it feel that we have to, to have a unit that is dedicated to the CCTV uh, uh, center. So whenever they see something, they dispatch them. And secondly, you can't have a uniform person who will go there because they will run away. At the moment I've got 110 now. It was 80, it's now 110. You have seen them, they're not wearing uniform. If you see them moving around, you'll rob someone, but they're there, they arrest you. Because we have a hot spots where these robberies are taking place. What's up, what's up? My name is Christopher Jafta and you are watching Joburg Today. Boom. 